So when I was writing this book, I asked, who, who were the companies that you felt gave a great experience? And the, the, of course, the answers were common. Disney, Nike, Lego, and Apple was the number one. And so I, but then I would ask, well, what about it? What about it's a great experience? No, there, no one could answer that question. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Steve Jobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, well, he's not here anymore, so uh, now, now what? Uh, and so it turns out, so that I studied for a year as, as, as an anthropologist mm -hmm. and as an ethnographer, um, the, if, the journey of an iPad user. And it is, they by far understand this. I, 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 I know that Steve Jobs was behind this. There is an experience architecture behind the ownership of an iPad. Mm -hmm. So before you own one and after you own one, uh, was, it was, there's a narrative for it. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you that a storyboard exists for, that, for this. And there is a storyboard, I, I, I found this out. There's a storyboard for the box how you're supposed to open it and what you're supposed to feel and what you're supposed to think and what you're supposed to do. So that's the level of experience architecture that I'm talking about because the, the reason why the Maya Angelou quote is so profound is not because it's, well, first because she's amazing, yeah. but do you know the most powerful trigger for your memory is the sense of smell, right? And so now when you talk about smell or how you feel, those are things that are left to chance. Mm -hmm. And why would any brand leave that to chance? Apple literally designs for how they want you to feel. Mm -hmm. This is why it's a church, it's why it's a religion, this is why they have fanboys and fangirls, why people line up. It is intentional, mm -hmm. right? And so the answer to your question is we need to think like this, and that's what the book's about. I went through the whole process to do that.